Welcome back, everybody. The McFadden Ward House is inviting you to take a trip back in history and join the lecture series Restoration and Operations of the Famous Big Boy Engine. In studio joining us is Ed Dickens. He's the Union Pacific Manager of Heritage Operations. He's here to tell us all about this lecture. First, thank you for being here. Thank you. And so, you know, you were already telling me during the break that you just know a lot about trains. You're fascinated with them and everything. So give me an example of some things we'll learn about, you know, during the lecture. Well, the, the big boy, the Union Pacific big boy, UP 4014, is very quickly becoming an American icon. It's known as the world's largest steam locomotive, 7,000 horsepower, weighs 600 tons, 17 feet tall and 135 feet long. It is huge. Mm -hmm. People are fascinated to see this part of history. You know, the Union Pacific and President Abraham Lincoln, the driving of the Transcontinental Railroad, the driving of the Golden Spike in Utah, that connects all of the history of our country. Well, the Union Pacific restored one of these monsters, built in 1941, to mm -hmm. full operation. So we're very proud of it. We're so excited when we take it on tour. And we see hundreds of thousands of people across the country when we travel this locomotive. Yeah. Mainly little kids, yeah. uh, grandmas and grandpas, people that remember steam engines, yeah. but it really is a crowd-pleasing crowd machine. And you said that Union Pacific rebuilt this, right? How long did it take to do that? This is the fun part. So here's the world's largest steam locomotive in the Union Pacific, my shop and a crew and I, supported by the thousands of women and men of the Union Pacific, we rebuilt this locomotive in two and a half years. Oh, that's kind of fast, right? That's real fast, So you yeah. really know what you're doing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we, we took it completely apart and we built it back up again, lots of new parts. So, you know, obviously we know there's a lot of history that comes into this, but what makes this train so different from any others or like trains we see nowadays? Well, the trains that we see nowadays are modern. You know, they, they replaced the steam locomotive uh, that technology, the obsolete technology of the past, is replaced with the new, fancy, very highly technical, very computerized, very efficient diesel locomotives. The steam locomotives, back in the 1940s, this big boy was state of the art. So when you see it, you have to kind of recondition your thinking to say, okay, this was modern back then. Mm -hmm. Today, it's an absolute beautiful museum piece. But technologically, it represents the biggest and the best that America produced during the war. It was a great machine. Yeah, what go, What all goes into restoring, you know, such a large machine like this? Well, the, the most important part is, is what we call the pressure vessel, the boiler. A steam locomotive burns oil fuel, heats the water to a high pressure, 300 pounds of pressure, and that's what is the propulsion power for the steam locomotive. So that's the important part. The other part is just taking all the components apart. Some of them can be refurbished. Other parts have over a million miles on them and they're nearly 80 years old. So we just replace them with new. So it's like restoring an old tractor, an old automobile. You just get into it, lots of elbow, elbow grease and, and lots of loving pride when you put something like that together. Gotcha, I'm intrigued by all this history. But before we go, I wanna make sure you let everybody at home know when, what time do they have to purchase tickets? You know, all of that good information. Well, it's at the McFadden Ward House here in Beaumont. It's free tonight at 6.30. And looking forward to talking trains. Uh, we talk a little bit technical. We've got lots of slides and, and uh, just lots of stories about what it took to build it and what it's like to run it. Will kids be able to go up on the train? Well, it's not here. It's um, actually home in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. But in the, in the coming months, we'll announce its tour schedule and we'll be traveling once again in America on the Union Pacific Railroad. All right, perfect. Well, thank you again for joining us uh, this morning and good luck to your event. Thank you. No problem. Well, here